If you've paid attention to literally any conservative ideologue within the past few months, you've probably heard a certain term. It's a platitude used so often by figures on the right, particularly the far right, and more fastidiously, paleoconservatives, to the point where it's a maniac pejorative denoting anything they have at least somewhat of a distaste for. In many contexts, and in precipitously increasing frequency, they use it to refer to literally anything that preaches an anti-racist message that they think mostly gets taught in public schools, elementary through high school. If you can actually get one of these light year thick skulled hooligans to actually define critical race theory, which Vice can tell you takes arduous work in and of itself, they'll give you an intentionally obfuscated abstraction of something that's anti-white and makes Caucasians feel bad about their race. Critical race theory, uh, but it builds the foundation on culturally responsive training, equity versus equality, social justice. So those are all innocuous terms in many people's minds, but when you look at how the left is now using those to drive the whole perspective of- Anybody not drowning in persecution complex rhetoric and confederate flag waving loony bins already has the foresight to see that the entirety of this idea is a victim card to prevent progressive policies from being enacted and to stop any and all teachings of anti-racist thought. But we might not even have to worry about CRT actually being banned because it's been so vaguely defined even in professionally written legislation to the point where it changes nothing in schools. Here's what it actually is. According to James Univer, critical race theory is an academic movement that emerged in the mid-1970s to critically engage the intersection of race and the law and to advocate for fresh, more radical approaches to the pursuit of racial justice. Real CRT examines social, cultural, and legal issues primarily as they relate to race and racism in the US. Conspicuously, critical race theory is actually a highly advanced intellectual field of critical theory mostly taught to postgraduate in legal, sociological, and criminological trades, with a recurring motif of critical race theory and its scholars positing that disparate racial outcomes are the results of complex, changing, subtle, social and institutional dynamics, rather than explicit and intentional prejudices of individual people. Specifically, the theory views white supremacy as an intersectional social construct that advances the interests of mostly white people, often at the expense of other races. Intersectionality is often employed by many scholars of the theory, which, if you don't know, emphasizes that race can intersect with other identities, such as gender and class, to produce complex combinations of power and advantage with both implicit and explicit bias. For some reason, since 2020 specifically, every lawmaker lacking all but one brain cell decided to come together and collectively share them in a single unified effort. That's socialism. And then they never actually put them to use. And what we're left with was conservative U.S. lawmakers seeking to ban or restrict critical race theory instruction along with other anti-racism programs. Critics of these efforts say the lawmakers have poorly defined or misinterpreted the tenets and importance of CRT and that the goal of the law is to more broadly silence discussions of racism, equality, social justice, and the history of race. The preservation of racial hierarchy is paramount to conservative goals socially and systemically, which is why they don't want their kids getting taught racism is objectively bad, and everyone should acknowledge their societal and financial privilege, and lack thereof, or how certain demographics benefit while others suffer. The reason anti-racism should be taught in schools is that everyone can axiomatically agree that discrimination is one of, if not the most destructive vices to ever exist because it decimates solidarity, disenfranchises based off characteristics people can't control, and nobody should remotely be treated that way because getting discriminated against doesn't feel good at all. As highly advanced sociological and legal thought should be taught to collegiate level students, and basic tacit understandable anti-racist material that fully acknowledges and contextualizes the world's history of racism and how institutions plagued by it are affected today. It's time to encourage the teaching of critical race theory to academic establishments that have historically made use of it and teach future generations to not be racist in schools, elementary to high school.